Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be doing a what's in my nursing work bag. And these are kind of the things that I have realized throughout my orientation that I definitely need and will always use on my shift. Let's just get into it. This bag is by BagSmart. And I will say, if I'm being completely honest, because of the things that I have in here, one of them being a binder, the bag tends to kind of like sit weird. It's a great bag, it holds everything that I need and I like that I can just wipe it down. It's pink and this front pocket is where I would keep my keys and my phone when I'm like getting to work. I have a little pin here. It's my resident pin because I am in the residency program. So this is my resident binder. I have all of my resources in here. I even have some of them in like a, one of these like protective sheets. I have a lot of great resources in here, like third trimester labs, our assessment timetable for our floor, if our patients are on Pitocin, how often we should be charting the monitoring for the fetal heart tones, um, a quick run through of everything you need to document for your C-section, like it's a lot of great information in here. I keep this with me and I can always refer to it that way. So I have that, I have some of my nurse residency, like general new grad paperwork in here as well like some resources they give us a bunch of papers in here in this like divided part of my bag right here um this is like pretty raw and like organic so in this big pocket like in the other side of the divider i have my fanny pack okay so i have my badge here i either leave it in my car or i clip it onto my fanny pack at the end of the day but this is my fanny pack and this is honestly like my holy grail product if you need anything and you're the kind of nurse that always wants to kind of be somewhat prepared with supplies on shift i haven't lost anything and i have almost everything that i need every shift so i'm gonna go through this i got this exact nursing fanny pack off of amazon i can link it below for you guys but I like it. It's pretty roomy and I still have a lot more space in here that I just haven't found a use for yet. For starters, I have a bunch of pens right here. I have my favorite pen that I use every shift for everything. It has multiple colors on it and I showed that in like a haul video. I can link it as well. This cute little pen my preceptor got for me when she went on her trip to Europe. I thought that was so sweet. And then I have two highlighters here, a blue and a pink. I like to use these to help me differentiate between my patients that are having a boy or a girl. I like these two badge accessories on my fanny pack rather than my badge so they don't weigh my badge down, but these are my cervical dilation beads and then my belly beads. Then in here I have band-aids. In this part back here I have alcohol pads. I have green caps to close off any open ends of IV tubing that isn't being used to make sure that they aren't a, an open source of infection. A bunch of paper clips, more green caps. Um, the green caps have like alcohol in them. And then back here in this little pocket, I have my scissors. They're just like little tiny ones. Um, yeah, they're pretty dull. You can't really like get hurt with these. In this first zipper, I will usually keep my phone and then my report sheets. So that's empty right now. And then in the back second pocket, I keep Aquaphor because I always need Aquaphor for my lips. I have tape. I don't know why I have so many. I have extra of my multicolored pens just in case that one runs out of ink. And then my blue light glasses, which I honestly don't use as often as I would like. I usually remember to use them when I am sitting down at my computer charting for a long time or when I'm doing class. Like whenever I have class, I have my blue light glasses on for sure. But honestly, throughout my shift, I don't wear them as often. This does have this back zipper pocket back here that I just haven't found a use for, but I'm sure I will like, you know, with time. This is my nursing fanny pack. I love it so much. I never knew that I would end up being a fanny pack nurse, but I honestly love it. I just love being this like organized and prepared. And now whenever somebody asks me for something, unless it's a flush, I have it. <laughs> okay, so inside I have more things in this pocket in front of this divider. And then there are two little pockets, one here and one here. So I'm gonna go through the rest of what's on the bigger part. My little nurse notebook. 
I love it. It's super handy because it's small to have on the floor and I can jot something down that I know I don't want to forget that I can always refer to as well. And this is just a more handy version of all of the resources I have in my orientation binder. So I have this. I have my stethoscope case, which is from Amazon. Um, and then like a clamp and scissors in here. And I have my beautiful Lipman, which I do use. On the floor, we can use the disposable stethoscopes, but I still prefer to use mine. And I love it. It was a gift from my boyfriend. I have an umbrella because I do live in Florida and it gets pretty rainy. Okay, now we're gonna get into those two little pockets that I showed you guys. This is a mess, honestly, this is not like, I did not prepare for this video, this is just showing you what I genuinely have in my bag. I have a bunch of liners, because you know, sometimes your period comes unexpectedly and I just like to be somewhat prepared. I also have a tampon in here. I have this native deodorant, which honestly, I sweat off like it's on the antiperspirant so it doesn't help me that much but it's good to have to just like freshen up throughout the day. I have some icebreaker mints to freshen up as well. I have a gum wrapper and then some gum. I just have this five gum flavor at the moment. It's pretty good. And then in the other pocket I have summer's eve again to just freshen up. I have this lint roller which i clearly haven't used i haven't really felt the need to lint roll i do have a cat but my scrubs tend to stay pretty clean and we do have a lint roller in one of the cabinets in the kitchen as well that i could use i have this poopery spray because sometimes you just gotta go at work like there have been times where my stomach hurts so bad because i haven't gone all day or in a few days and i have to like take care of myself and just go but yeah, you don't want anyone to know that you just went, so poopery. <laughs> some hand sanitizer. Oh, I like to restock this little Ziploc with some floss picks so that I can go to the bathroom and freshen up when I do my whole thing. I have a black headband just in case, because you never know. Alcohol spray to just clean my hands, another alternative. If I don't want to use a hand sanitizer and then a little pack of tissues. So. That's everything that I have on that side. And then the last little piece that I have of my bag is this little zipper pocket right here. And I just keep all of my extra badges in here. So I have a bunch right here. I have some stickers in there. That's basically it. That's everything that I keep in my work bag. I seriously use like 90% of these things on every single shift, especially those supplies, my fanny pack. It's always with me. It's very useful. So I highly recommend kind of keeping some things to freshen up, keep you awake. I would normally keep my eye drops in here, but I haven't been needing them. Um, maybe on night shift though. So I'll try, I'll probably throw them in here when I start working nights. So yeah, I hope this was somewhat helpful to you guys. And you guys can kind of have an idea of some things that could be helpful to you on your 12 hour shifts. I know they're long. Any little thing that we can add to kind of make the shift go by smoother is very appreciated. So thank you guys for watching and let me know what else you would want to see from me. But that's it for now. Bye.